Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to talk about another movement-based thing for tennis. Um, I guess footwork, right? So I want to talk about why pros and higher level players are able to seemingly hit out wide so well and why um, when they hit out wide, they're still able to like control their shot, stay balanced and hit. Okay, so again, this is kind of going back to the video I made about running uh, to the ball on the backward movement. Now we're just, I'm going to show you the movement. It's even straight. All right, good. Now I'm going to show you the movement out wide and it's a lot simpler than people think. And then I'm probably going to throw in some uh, clips of the best mover in tennis, Djokovic, to see how he gets out wide on both sides when um, he's pressured for time. And again, um, adjusting adjustment steps, the smaller steps, as you get closer to the ball, they're okay if you have time. If you have time to do them and you're not exactly happy with your position, you can do them. But with higher level shots, when they're coming fast, heavy, and wide, you don't exactly have that time. So here I'm going to do a demonstration with these two cones. All right, let's, let me just make sure it's in the shot. Okay, so these, we're gonna pretend that these two balls are coming fast and I don't have time for like a bunch of little steps, okay? But the footwork to this shot and that shot, they're gonna be the same. And um, yeah, I'll just show you. So after the split step, split step, right here, it's back. Then a wide split step. And back. Okay, so you see, like, after my split for the one that's really wide, I just push harder on my first running step here. So after I pivot over, right, then I'm just gonna. Okay, the step is just bigger, and that's literally it. The first step is gonna determine a lot because. That's how the spacing for each step is gonna work. Now, how do they stay so balanced even after hitting that, right? So a lot of times you'll see like, get out wide, you'll hit, and it's like, like this, right? So I'm gonna show you, um, I don't really have a name for this step, but it's kind of like a shuffle as you hit. So as you hit out wide, you're here. So I'll show you um, from the wide step. So by doing this like last, like, I don't know, this whatever this footwork is called, right, whatever, by doing that, it allows you to keep your weight actually going into the ball while staying balanced instead of just like hitting and then you're running over, kind of collapsing. Um, this step lets you stay wide, balanced, and then recover as fast as possible. Whereas the other, if you're just gonna run and hit, it's kind of a last ditch effort. Like you're hitting like this. If you don't hit a winner, it points over, right? So that's how it's gonna be on the forehand. And I think Stan also uses the footwork as well. So let's uh, let's look at this point. Okay, so just watch. Let's go back a second and watch watch Stan right here. One, two, hit. Right, right after the split step, you guys can. I guess I'll, I'll replay that in slow motion later. On the backhand, you'll notice Djokovic hits a lot of open stance, um, but that's only when he can't hit close stance. Like a lot of times, he'll, if when he has time, he'll get into this. But it's a, it's around the same thing when he's very out wide. I'll just show you guys one. I'll show you guys one out wide. When he's really out wide on the backhand, he'll do pretty much the same thing. So he'll go here. Again. So here. 
Split, one, two, hit. Yeah. So that's the exact that's the exact step that I showed earlier. Um, I'll play it again slow motion. So yeah, those are um, the simplified steps. Uh, but you know, tennis, it's usually the simpler the better because it cuts down time, it cuts down uh, variation, and just overall more efficient. So at higher levels, you want to try to cut that stuff down when the ball is coming fast. And it's actually the wider base that you're taking with each step, it's actually going to let you balance a lot more and be able to get your weight through the ball how you want. Um, I don't think this is just an advanced concept. Maybe if the ball like that you play with normally is coming too slow, but you can still set with a wide base with this concept, okay? Especially if it's out wide. Um, yeah, I hope that really helped. And this is a simple footwork thing, but I don't think a lot of people actually know how to tackle a ball that's out wide and pressuring them. So let me know what you guys think in the comment, please. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I try to upload at least once a week. And um, let me know what you guys want to see. As always, have a good day. Peace out.